Democrats will regain control of the U.S. Senate. The nation today has witnessed a grave breach of its democratic traditions. For the first time in American history, supporters of a losing presidential candidate forcibly disrupted the official counting of electoral votes. For the first time ever, a president has been impeached twice. The new dawn blooms as we free it. For there is always light, if only we're brave enough to see it. Game stock shares have now risen some 700% year to date. It's over. Twice tried, twice acquitted. Millions without electricity in Texas and elsewhere across the South. Despite his fellow Texans suffering, freezing, going hungry, some of them even dying, Senator Ted Cruz last night flew to Cancun, Mexico for a family vacation. We're learning some new details about a string of shootings at Atlanta area spas that left eight people dead. Killings come at a time when violence against Asian Americans is growing, thanks in part to racist tropes surrounding the coronavirus. We learned of the second mass shooting in less than a week in this country. One of the world's biggest container ships blocking the Suez Canal one of the world's most vital trade routes. The idea that the fatal shooting of 20-year-old Dante Wright was an accident, not comforting this community. The city of Brooklyn Center is only about 10 miles from where former police officer Derek Chauvin is on trial for the killing of George Floyd. Derek Chauvin, convicted on all three counts, guilty of second-degree unintentional murder, third-degree murder, and second-degree manslaughter in the death of George Floyd and leaving the courtroom in handcuffs. Nearly half of all American adults have now had at least one dose of a COVID-19 vaccine. International help is being pledged for India as it battles a ferocious second wave of coronavirus. Just hours after a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas came into force this morning, there were clashes between Israeli police and Palestinians around the Al-Aqsa Mosque in the old city of Jerusalem. Violence at the holy site was one of the flashpoints that led to the 11-day conflict, which has ended with both sides claiming victory. A rail transit facility that serves Silicon Valley in Northern California is now the scene of the nation's newest mass shooting investigation. World number two Naomi Osaka has withdrawn from the French Open, citing ongoing concerns for her own mental health. A massive search and rescue operation underway at this hour after the partial collapse of a high-rise condominium building in Surfside, Florida, that's just north of Miami Beach. This morning, there's a new federal holiday, Juneteenth. The movement to make Juneteenth a federal holiday grew stronger after the year of national protests over race. Nearly 20 million people are under an excessive heat warning this morning, covering nearly all of Washington and Oregon, plus five other states. The president of Haiti has been assassinated by unknown assailants. When the Tokyo Olympics officially kicked off today, it was under the most unusual circumstances in modern times. Superstar Simone Biles is out. More people are speaking out and being open about their mental health struggles. If I can be a barrier breaker for that, then I'm going to do it. Branson versus Bezos. Who will be first to make it into space? There are scenes of panic and pandemonium at Kabul airport today as desperate people pour onto the runway trying to flee the country in what can only be described as a chaotic exodus. The Pentagon just moments ago reporting a number of U.S. service members were killed at the Kabul airport. After 20 years of war in Afghanistan, I refuse to send another generation of America's sons and daughters to fight a war should have ended long ago. Breaking news out of California, where the Dixie wildfire is exploding in size today, now the second largest in state history. Flooding tragedy in Tennessee, at least 21 people now killed. Tracking Ida, widespread destruction along the Louisiana coast, millions without power. A flash flooding siege in the Northeast. States of emergency in New York, New Jersey, and Pennsylvania. In the loss of life and the enormous damage Ida has left in its wake are renewing bigger conversations around climate change. At the stroke of midnight, the most restrictive abortion law in the country went into effect 
in Texas. Britney Spears is free of her father. A staggering reversal of past court decisions upholding Jamie Spears' role within the conservatorship. A crisis at the border as thousands of Haitian migrants camp under the bridge in Del Rio. And it is these pictures of Border Patrol agents on horseback pushing migrants into the river that have caused so much anger. For some, they carry the echoes of the worst chapters of American history. Now, with the show that everyone's talking about, it's called Squid Game. Her name is Frances Haugen. There were conflicts of interest between what was good for the public and what was good for Facebook. And Facebook over and over again chose to optimize for its own interests. Supply chain issues are hampering the economic recovery. White House says it has reached an agreement with the Port of Los Angeles to become a 24-7 operation. Just minutes after the CDC approved the Pfizer children's vaccine last night, kids were rolling up their sleeves. Overnight, chaos at a music festival in Houston turned deadly. 18-year-old defendant Kyle Rittenhouse was found not guilty on all five counts, including first-degree intentional homicide use of a dangerous weapon. Three white men were found guilty of murder for chasing down and fatally shooting a 25-year-old black man named Ahmad Arbery. It's happened yet again in America. The parents of three teens Teenagers learn today their children will not be coming home from school. From Kentucky, the epicenter of what authorities have now confirmed is the nation's deadliest tornado outbreak in more than a decade. The committee investigating the Capitol insurrection is zeroing in on a key question. What did then-President Trump and his top aides know, and when did they know it?